This is question number 41 of the 2013 KCPE maths paper. The question says a cylindrical container has a radius of 6.3 centimeters and is 15 centimeters high. Its curved surface is completely covered with a label. What is the area of the label in centimeters squared? So I've drawn out the cylinder uh, here. So that you can see it and I've just highlighted in blue its uh, curved surface which is which we're told is completely covered with a label so we need to find out the area occupied by this um, the, the area occupied by this blue highlight so and this so this area obviously stretches all the way around here. I've only shown the part that would be visible to you looking um, straight on at the container. So in order to work out what the total area of the label is, we first need to work out the perimeter here of the cylindrical container. And then we need to multiply the perimeter of the cylindrical container by the height. And I'll draw another um, image for this to make a bit more sense to you. So if you imagine if you unraveled the label from the container and you stuck it flat on a table, it would look something like this, where this here is the height, and that's given to us as 15 centimetres. And this here is the perimeter or the circumference of uh uh, of the circle of the cylinder here. So this is the circumference. And to work out the circumference, um, we just use the normal formula we, uh, we have for the circumference of a circle, and that is um, 2 pi r. We're going to take r. We're told to take, so I'm going to write that down here again, and I'm going to put a big C for circumference, is equal to 2 pi r. And we're told that we need to take pi as being 22 divided by 7. So 2 times by 22 divided by 7, and then multiplied by r, which we're told is 6.3. And to make things consistent, I'm going to write this 6.3 as... Um, as a fraction, as an improper fraction, so that would be 63 over 10. So I'm going to now move this down. So we have 2 times by 22 divided by 7 times by 63 over 10, and that would give us our circumference of um, which is the area around the rim of the container. Sorry, which is the um, the length of the rim of the container. So uh, to work this out, I'm going to simplify this a little bit. So we know that 63 is a multiple of 7. And since we're dividing by 7 again, we can simply divide this 63 by 7. And we'll cancel out this 7 here and get a 1. So 63 divided by 7 is a 9. So that means we end up with... 2 times by 22 times by 9 over 10. 2 times by 22 is uh, 44. So we have 44 times by 9 over 10. Um, so what I would do next is multiply 44 by 9. And then the area of the circumference is just 44 times by 9, the answer we get for that, all over 10. So 44 times by 9, 4 times by 9 is 36, so 6 carry a 3. Then 4 times by 9 again, 36, add 3, uh, 39. So we get 3, 9, 6, 3, 44 times by 10 times by 9, sorry, so we have to divide this by 10. And when we divide this by 10, it's the same as moving um, the one decimal place, which is originally here, uh, one place to the left. 
So we get three thirty nine point six as the circumference of this cylindrical container. And um, we then so we know one of our dim dimensions here, this length here, and we know that is thirty nine point six. Then we times that by the height is fifteen, and that will give us the complete area of the label. So the multiplication we're doing is 39.6 multiplied by 15. 5 times by 6 is 30, so 0 carry 3. 5 times by 9 is 45. Add 3, that's 48, so 8 carry 4. Cross this out. 5 times by 3 is 15. Add 4, 19. And then 1 times, or 10, sorry, times by 39.6 is simply 396. So I'll write that here. So 6, 9, 3. Let's add that all together. So 0, 8 plus 6 is 4, 40, 4 carrier 1. 9 plus 9 plus 1 is 19, 9 carrier 1. 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. So that means, okay, and then we need to make sure that since there was one decimal place moved here, that means it's a, that means you've got to move the answer one decimal place to the left as well. So the answer we get is 594. So the answer is B, 594.